Greetings mere mortals, my name is Sean Shooping and welcome to my lab. In today's snippet, I'm going to be playing with three of my absolute favorite things. We're going to be building an open stack cluster using Juju and Metal as a service. So to explain the setup, I've got six physical servers sitting in a rack in a data center somewhere, not here. And uh, we're going to deploy OpenStack to all of those using the OpenStack base charm from jujucharms.com. Now the OpenStack base bundle is built around four physical servers. So we're going to be adding to that. We're going to add additional compute and we're going to add additional storage. Once we've added the additional compute and the storage, we'll go into each charm and configure settings to match that that's in our environment. So to get started, in a previous step, I've already configured my Juju controller as well as my Metal as a Service region controller. So we'll get straight into deploying. So to start things off, we'll create a new model and we're gonna name this new model dev 0 openstack We'll go into the Juju Charm store and we'll select the OpenStack base. While that comes down, we'll just wait for the model to populate. Okay, so now that the model's rendered, we can go in and we can have a look at the placement of, of each of our applications. So if we have a look over here, we can see that we've got four physical servers and all the applications have been placed evenly across all four nodes. So the first thing that we're going to do is that we're going to go ahead and we're going to scale the Nova compute by two units, seeing as that we have six physical servers. So we'll scale the Nova Compute and we'll place those on blank units and you'll see that Nova Compute gets put in the root container, meaning that it's a bare metal service. Next up, we'll go and we'll scale the Ceph OSDs by three units. And the reason that we'll scale them as three units is because the first physical server is home to the Neutron Gateway. Now the Neutron Gateway will only use the first hard drive in the server, leaving the second hard drive blank. And it would be a little bit of a waste just to leave that, leave that spindle doing absolutely nothing. The remaining two units that we scaled up, we'll place those on the two Nova Compute nodes which we've just placed. Okay, so now that we've placed all our units, we can see that our application distribution is a little bit uneven. So what I'm gonna do now is that I'm gonna go and move a couple of applications around so that we have an even distribution of applications across all of our physical hardware. So now that we've scaled and placed all our applications, what we need to do is that we need to go make configuration changes on the applications where applicable. So the first application that I need to make a change on is the Neutron Gateway. And the setting that I need to change is the data port mapping. So the bridge external mapping is currently set to ENO2. That interface doesn't exist on my hardware. Instead, the interface that I need to map it to is ENP2SOF1. So I'll change that mapping accordingly and save those changes. The next setting that I'm going to change, and this is an optional setting, I'm going to change the admin password on Keystone. Next, I'm going to go configure the OpenStack dashboard. And what I'm going to do here is that I want to enforce SSL. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to set the OS public hostname string. So in order for the SSL redirection to work, SSL and HTTPS needs to be configured. So what we need to do is that we need to provide the SSL certificate as a base64 output as well as the private key for that certificate. Okay, so now that all our applications are configured, all that's left to do is we go ahead and deploy. And before we deploy, we'll just upload our public key so that we can log into the OpenStack if we need to. 
So after I click deploy, usually I switch to the Juju CLI to watch the status output on the command line as opposed to on the GUI because it just makes a little bit more sense. So I'll go and switch to the uh, dev zero dash OpenStack model and I'll run a Juju status and yeah, you can see everything sitting in waiting state. If we switch back to Metal as a service, we can see now that the servers start turning on and they begin deploying Ubuntu 18.04 LTS. about 70% of the way through the deployment and I just wanted to turn the camera back on quick just to show you how quickly the Juju controller log moves. Look at that, that's insane. Alright cool, so it's a little while later and uh, according to the Juju status output, uh, everything is sitting in active idle state, which means that everything went through fine and nothing exploded, which is good news. So technically what we should have now is that we should have a working OpenStack. Excellent, so we can see that uh, the way that I configured the OpenStack dashboard, that SSL redirection is working. And if we go inspect the certificate, we can see that our Let's Encrypt Sign certificate has come through perfectly. So there's nothing wrong there. So if we log in. Yes! We have a, a working OpenStack. So we can just click around and we can check out a couple of things. So we can go to our hypervisors. And here we can see that we've got uh, five hypervisors because the first node in the OpenStack cluster is used for the Neutron Gateway. Uh, we've got 58 gigs of memory in our pool. We've got 665 gigs of usable storage across all the second hard drives, which are those OSD drives that we configured. Ah, let's do a quick, let's download the uh, RC file. Project setup, we can do our open stack server list, which is going to return nothing because we don't have any servers yet. We can do an open stack endpoint list. This will show all the API endpoints and then we can see that the whole stack is working. So that is excellent news. So that was a fun little exercise. So just to do a quick recap, what we did is that we pulled down the OpenStack bundle from Juju Charms. We then went in and we scaled the model. We added additional compute. We added additional storage. We then went and we configured, what did we configure first? So we configured the Neutron Gateway to match our interfaces, which we can pull out of Metal as a service. We then went and we set the Keystone password so that we didn't have to go hunt around and find it after everything was deployed. Uh, we, <laughs> we uploaded a base64 output of the SSL certificate which I got from Let's Encrypt as well as its private key and then we deployed it and we waited I think it probably took about 40 minutes but after 40 minutes we have a working OpenStack. Boom! Just like that. Uh, so OpenStack made super super easy with uh, Juju and Metal as a service. And that's all I have for you. In the next video that I'll do, I'll do some OpenStack basics. So we'll go in and we'll configure the external network, we'll figure external routers, tenants, projects, spin up some machines, bring down some images. But as for this video, that's all I have for you. If you've liked this video, give me a comment. If you have any information to pass on to me, please put it down in the comments. I look forward to hear from you. And uh, 
As always, thanks for watching. Cheers.